All right, so I'm in Trumpet. We'll spot it in Miami with your girl, the one and only Amber Rose. <laughs> yeah, the brother got to clap some cheeks. All right, let me, let me show you the pics. So these are the pictures. These are them two. They are in Miami. Um, nothing has been confirmed yet, right? So I mean, was dating Tana Taylor back in, uh, you know, they did it for a while. They got two kids together. Uh, Tana Taylor filed for divorce in 2023, and the divorce was finalized in July 2024, if I'm not mistaken. So they're not together anymore. So he's allowed to do whatever he wants to do. Tana Taylor's friends made a post. I'm going to read it. Um, this is what she said. All right, I'm going to read it real quick. All right, so let me zoom a little bit. All right, so this is so funny to me because when we were on the boat on New Year's Eve, you and your friend villainized me for peeping the sneaky shit that was going on, that was going on while Tanner and her kids was on the same boat. And I was right. This proves my point. Then you want to be crying a river on that girl phone the next day. My friend has been nothing but graceful this whole time, but you played a effing game. Tana, I am sorry that I got this deep, but I am tired of taking the high road. You have done everything in your power to save this man and his image. I Amber Rose, I wish you will deny you will deny it for these blogs because I recorded the whole conversation and y'all making excuses about him being single, but he was good and married when this shit started corny AF. So this is Tana Towers friends, you know, just speaking up. Basically, she's saying that if I understand, she's saying that. Their relationship, the sneaky, you know, sneaky link, situation, relationship, however you want to call it, between Ayman and um, Amber Rose started it when he was married with Taylor Taylor. Um, um, Tana Taylor, all right? So, here's the thing, man. They are adults. They want to do whatever they want to do. That's up to them. But the point I'm trying to make, there's always going to be that one friend that gonna be very nosy on your business all the time in your business all the time right so my question is like why do you even care at first okay if then you were right okay now they're not together anymore so it doesn't really matter so do you have to expose on social media can you just call tanner taylor talk to her about it we don't need to know all that we don't need that why do you even care? She sounds like she's single. And that's why when you are in a relationship, please stay away from single friends, especially women. Men, we don't care. We don't give a F. For the most part, we don't care. But women, if they are single, miserable, they know that their friend has somebody and they seem to be, they seem to be happy They'll be the detective. They'll be the police. They'll always, if not always, 95 to 99% of the time to try to find something wrong about that man. If they're not smashing the man in the law, on the law, they'll always try to find something about that man so they can make you not be with the man anymore. It's always like that. To me, this is like childish. Okay, you suspected it back then. Fine. Now what? They already divorced. The divorce has been finalized. The guy is like, I mean, is like 34. Do you expect that guy just to stay like that? Nothing? Who, who, who cares if he moved on with Amber Rose? Yeah, people might say that's a downgrade. Cool, whatever you want to see. But that's a downgrade. How you see it? But to him, it's fine. He's clapping them uh, cheeks. Uh, He's clapping them cheeks. There's a reason. There's a motive behind it. There's, there's a reason why he holla Amber Rose. Hey, that, that doesn't mean they're going to be together forever. We know that that's for sure. They're going to break up. Maybe the guy just like, yo, I just want to have some fun. You know, I know Amber, she, you know, she's working some, some. She might be juicy down there, where, where, but hey, I'm not going to marry her. Let me just have fun. I'll move on eventually. Who cares, though? Who cares? 
you got to stay away from those type of friends, man. I mean, at the end of the day, I get it. That's what a good friend has to do to, you know, to to your to your friend. You know, if you see something suspicious, I'm not saying that whatever she, she was doing was wrong, but don't look for it. If you see it, yeah, talk to your friend about it. That's cool. But as of right now, it does not matter because they're not together. Who cares, though? It does not matter. You're trying to be right. And why do you have to post on social media? Are you guys still friends or not? And regardless, let's say they are not friends anymore. What does it even matter? What does it bother you for? Like, what? Okay, my friend, like, I told you. I probably just called my friend below. Yo, bro, I told you about this shit, man. You see? Now they're they smashing. But at the end of the day, man, it's like, why are you taking to the heart? Women always is like that, man. They always show, like, if their friends... Their friend is in a relationship with somebody. They're always trying to feel like, oh, that's the relationship too. They're trying to check on the friend. They're trying to make sure the guy's not doing this, not doing that. Focus on your own relationship. If you're single, go find yourself a man. Get yourself busy. Stop with them snaking links in the situation. Go find yourself a real man. And that's what single women always, for the most time, they keep women single. If you're mad, Yo, you dating a girl and she has a bunch of single friends, the miserable and unhappy. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you gotta, you gotta do something, man. You gotta pull your friend. I mean, your girl, like you know, you gotta protect your girl, man. They cannot be hanging out all the time like that. They can't. No, as a matter of fact, they cannot be hanging out anymore. You gotta cut them off, all of them. 